Today outside Goldman Sachs, we discovered. Merry Christmas. Merry Can you talk Merry bonuses? Yeah. Nope. yeah. Thank you. Modesty is apparently a corporate virtue, though this week on Wall Street, it may be a bit of false modesty. Top banks here are expected to dole out $36 billion in bonuses this year. That's a 20% increase from 2005. Top of the list, Goldman Sachs, with quarterly profits up 93%. The company will distribute a record high $16.5 billion in compensation. That works out to about $620,000 per employee. And if that doesn't sound like much, experts say top executives will earn as much as 20 to $50 million each. They're great bonuses. But again, Stephen Hall states the obvious, but adds big bonuses are driven simply by profits and competition. In fact, they're necessary because if you don't reward people on Wall Street with the kinds of fair numbers, there are a lot of other avenues or people that would love to gobble up their talent. So what could you do with a $20 million bonus? Here's a sampling. This New York City high-rise with a spectacular view of Manhattan goes for a mere $14.9 million. I can see that. When you get a check for $20 million, who do you call first? Well, first you call your mother and then you call us. According to Pamela Liebman, those big bonuses cause a trickle-down effect because so much of that money that goes to these guys and women at Goldman Sachs ends up into New York City real estate. I mean, we see a big boom when these guys get bonuses like this. From houses in the Hamptons to new expensive cars, this is Wall Street's version of bling. For those who would say $20 million, $10 million, that's outrageous, you'd say what? I'd say uh, have your children grow up to be investment bankers. Or maybe just marry one. Byron Pitts, CBS News, New York.